Hello and welcome once again to Let's Start Cooking. I'm Wayne and today we're going to do a beer batter chicken recipe. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to start with all our dry ingredients and we're going to get all those mixed up. So again, I'll have all the ingredients in the description. So let's get the dry ingredients first. What we're going to do first is we're going to start with our flour and we're just going to add onion powder, garlic powder, salt, sugar, paprika, some cornstarch, some baking soda, and some baking powder. So we'll get all that put in a bowl. And again, we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna mix everything together. This is another one of those recipes that we like to say is just a, a quick one bowl recipe because everything goes in one bowl, you mix it up and you're pretty much done. We're gonna get all this added in. We're just going to mix this up a little bit to make sure everything's distributed pretty well. Now we're going to add one and two thirds cup of beer. It can be any beer you like. If you don't want to use beer, you can substitute club soda for beer. But we're going to add our beer in. And while you're doing this, I would suggest that you get your frying oil up to 350 degrees. So when this is done and ready, you're ready to go with your chicken and you can put it right in a fryer. And again, if you don't have a fryer, as, as I don't have one, you can just use a big pot. Just make sure you have enough oil to cover the chicken. And we're just gonna mix this up real well. Make sure to get all the lumps out of it. We want a nice smooth batter. We're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna pat dry our chicken with a paper towel and make sure everything's nice and dry. All right, our oil's up to 350 degrees because at 350, we wanna keep it above at least 325. When you put anything into a fryer, it's gonna cool down a little bit. So if you have to do more than one batch, give it a little bit of time to come back up to heat. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our chicken and we're just gonna take it and we're gonna put it in cornstarch and we just wanna get a little light coating on it. We don't want too much on it. We're just gonna shake everything off and we're gonna dredge it. Try to keep one hand wet and one hand dry. Let some of it run off. You don't have to let it all run off because obviously you want that. And right in the fryer. And we're just gonna keep doing that. We want to make sure that we keep enough room in between these. We don't want to crowd them. So you might only be able to put two or three, depending on how big your, your pot is. But we're just going to put as enough in there that we, we can get. And we're going to cook these to their nice golden brown. It's probably going to take about, about five minutes, maybe, depending on how thick your chicken strips are. And just make sure nothing's sticking to each other. And I'm probably gonna be able to put about maybe two more in here if I can. We're just gonna let some of this drip off. All right, we'll let these cook up. All right. It's been about five minutes. You can tell because they get nice golden brown. And we're just going to take them out and we're going to place them right on a right on a paper towel. We're just going to take these right out. We're going to let these drain off on the paper towel before we serve them. Nice and crunchy. All right, and we're just going to keep going like this. We're going to fry all these up. And like I said, it's not that hard. You can substitute the beer if you want with club soda. And we're just gonna fry these up and we'll get these done for you. And in case you're wondering why we use cornstarch, cornstarch adds a nice crunchy layer to your chicken. We like to use it because it makes it a little bit more crispy. And while I'm doing this, we'll get all these fried up for you. 
I ask that you like and share this video. Tell your friends. And again, subscribe to our channel. Help us reach that first goal of 100 subscribers. We greatly appreciate it. And while you're frying these up, if you also had an onion and you wanted to make onion rings, you can also do the same batter and make yourself onion rings, or you can do this with fish too. Anything that you want to fry, mushrooms, anything you want to put in here, you can now. And if you need to make a little bit more than what you have, you can always add to this, or if it's a little bit too thick, you can add a little bit more beer to it. Because you want this about the consistency of pancake batter. And remember, as you're frying, if you start to run low on oil, you can always add more. Just make sure you give it enough time that it comes back up to temperature. Because if the oil is too cold, all it's going to do is the chicken's going to saturate in oil. And it's going to be real heavy and it's going to taste real greasy. So make sure you're always at your temperature you want to be at before you put chicken or fish or anything into your fryer. So we're just going to get these last couple done. Just going to flip them over. And you don't want to crowd your fryer. Make sure you have enough room because if you put them in when they're fresh, coated, they're going to stick together and you're going to end up with a mess. I don't know too many people that are going to turn down a plate of beer battered chicken like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And until I see you again, I hope you have a great day.